Hi, it's Kylie. You know, you might be feeling really small today, or you might be feeling really big. Either way, when we're together and we express ourselves through art, it's powerful. So what do you say? Will you join me? You will? Awesome. You know, it's gonna be okay. We're gonna make it. Come on. It's me, Kylie, and I'm back with my friend, Dr. Bill, and we're going to do some experiments in his lab today. <laughs> Dr. Bill, what are we experimenting with today? We can't wait to find out. Today, we are going to be experimenting with liquid nitrogen. So this is minus 320 degrees Fahrenheit, very cold. So we have some special safety equipment that we're gonna use. Good. Just to make sure that everybody's safe. So I'm gonna okay. put on a face mask, so I'm gonna sound weird, right? Uh, th this is a face shield, so it'll keep, uh, keep any of it off me. And then I have special thick gloves, right? And then when we put things into the liquid nitrogen because it's so cold, we don't want to touch it. So I'm actually going to be using these tongs and we're going we're gonna to put things in the liquid nitrogen with these. Cool. Sound good? Yeah. Okay. Okay, so what are we going to put in first? What, what's your... Um... Well, um, how about my lunch? Sorry? My lunch. You want to put your lunch in liquid nitrogen? It's an experiment. Okay. Let's see what happens. Let's do it. Okay. Great. Okay. I have some of my lunch. I have um, strawberries, spinach, blueberries, and bananas. All right. So uh, what I'm going to have you do is just drop into the liquid nitrogen whatever you'd like to freeze. Just like? Just plop it on in there. It? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Just go ahead. Strawberry going in. Strawberry away! Oh! Did you see that? That was amazing! Yeah, and that little spout evaporated immediately and you can hear it's boiling. Why is it boiling? Because so the cold. strawberry is so hot. No, it's not. It's so hot. Compared to the liquid nitrogen, it's super hot. So you drop it in there, it boils. That's really cool. Yeah. So try, try some of these other ones All you right. got there. Banana, here we go. In you go. Whoa! <laughs> it kind of looks like a firework when it comes yeah, out. Yeah, yeah. So it's boiling so much and it's pushing the vapor up and it's spilling out now. Wow. It feels cold. Oh yeah, very cold. Okay, blueberry. <gasps> cool. And then maybe just one piece of uh, your spinach. Okay. Okay. There you go, bye spinach. Okay. Is it gonna float? Or will it sink? I don't know, let's find out. All right. I guess it's going to float because everything's boiling. Oh, wow. There it goes. Now, <laughs> let's fish it back out. Okay. Okay, so one of the things that happens when things get real cold is that they get real hard. Yeah, like frozen. So if you want to take a strawberry up there oh. and uh, show everybody how mushy it is, okay. right? If you're playing with a hammer at home, you need a grown-up. Okay, ready? Oh! <laughs> Sorry, you got strawberried. Okay, well now, now you got a, a frozen strawberry. Now give that a whack. Okay. Oh! What? Look at that. Real cold. Watch this. Yeah, it's actually shattered in here. I, I mean, I 
I'm trying to be really gentle, but the pieces are just shattering. Okay, there's your blueberry. Oh, oh. <laughs> that's why I got gloves on. Oh, look at that, a chunk of it just came out. Why don't you smash that? All right. Ready? There you go. <laughs> Amazing! Yeah, you ever wonder what the inside of a blueberry looks like? Let's check it out. There it is. And I think the last thing was that smushy, smushy banana. Yes. Okay. I'm gonna do this one, you ready? That was a pretty cold lunch, huh? <laughs> it's a really cold lunch. Okay, so Kylie, did you know that the difference between these two balloons is really just in the temperature? No. Yeah, it's really just these this air molecules and how fast they're moving around. And so one of the other things I thought we could look at with the liquid nitrogen was how air speed makes this balloon big and this one small. Are you ready? I guess. Are you ready? Okay. Okay, so what I want you to do, you're gonna take these tongs. Okay, should I wear those big gloves? Yeah, okay. So then, you're, yeah, you're just gonna grab the end of that balloon. Oh my, okay. Okay, you got it. Perfect, okay. And then it's gonna go straight in to the liquid nitrogen. And drop it in there, or hold on to you it? Can, you can drop it right in. Oh, oh, there it goes. Oh, whoa, whoa. watch, watch it. What's happening? It's shrinking. What, why is it shrinking? Because the air inside of it's getting slower and slower and slower until it's gonna look exactly like a balloon without any air in it at all. What? And there it goes. <laughs> I don't... Yeah. That's crazy. Now, if you can fish out that little piece that you grabbed onto okay. and very gently pull it back out, we might get it to come right back. Like big again? Yeah, totally inflated again. Okay. This is gonna take some skill. Wish me luck. Oh gosh. I gotta flip it. Oh, nice. Yeah, oh, you got it, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, it's boiling. Yeah, it's very, so the tongue you have is very hot compared to the liquid, which is very cold. Okay, you got it. Okay, let's bring it out. So there's actually liquid nitrogen in the bottom, you can see there, so that, yep. Oh my goodness. So when it got warmer, it got faster. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Again, again, it's shriveling up. Look, it's shrinking again. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so now it's slowing down again. What? So when it slows down, it gets smaller? Yeah, so it's just how fast the air is moving, right? Right now this air is warm, so it's moving around a lot, right? But when it gets real cold, what's actually happening is the air isn't moving very much. So it's kind of like, if you have a big parachute, yeah, and you all lift it up, the air moves. Yeah, and you with can it you can it, feel it. Yeah, yeah. But when the air's still, it would just drop to the floor very slowly. Okay, I'm gonna get it out again. That's my favorite part. I think when it gets big again. Oh wow, you're getting good at this. Oh wow, look at that. You know. What? If you just leave it, let it, yeah, exactly like that, then it'll, it'll thaw out. <laughs> it's like you're reinflating it. And there's your balloon back. This is amazing. Yeah. It looks like, it looks exactly the same. 
time. If you don't hold it over the liquid nitrogen and maybe a little bit to the side, then if you drop it again, it won't go back in. But. <laughs> what? <laughs> and you know, a second ago, <laughs> that would have just shattered, right? I mean, because yeah. it was crunchy. And it's, it's, wow. Wow, who knew? That is so I thought I thought you might cool. think that's interesting, right? Uh, Just we little, think that's interesting. A little fun science <laughs> thing. Do you want to do some very cold art with me? Let's go to the studio. Welcome to my studio. I had so much fun at Dr. Bill's lab again. He's awesome. I wish we could play with liquid nitrogen together, but the cold craft that we're gonna do together is just using water, baking soda, food coloring if you have it, and a freezer. That's right, we're making ice volcanoes. Step one is to make your volcano. You're gonna need some sort of ball. I'm using a ping pong ball, but really a golf ball might be better because it wouldn't float. Because my ping pong ball will float when I fill this up with water, I'm gonna tape it down. I'm gonna put it right in the center of my bowl. You're going to need a bowl that can go in your freezer for this. This is going to act as our mold for our volcano. Next thing you're gonna do is cover the inside of your mold with cling wrap, plastic wrap. Once your bowl and your ball are covered with plastic wrap, it's time to make a slurry of baking soda and water. You're going to want to do this on about a one to two ratio. So one part baking soda to two parts water. One part baking soda and one. two parts water. Stir it up. This part is totally optional, but I'm gonna add a little bit of food dye. Once your baking soda slurry and food dye is mixed up, you're gonna pour it into the mold that you made for your volcano. Perfect. Then put this in the freezer. You know I already have one ready for us. I have dyed some vinegar pink. Then I let this thaw out a little bit so it comes out of the bowl. Now we need to take the plastic off. I ended up running it under some hot water to get everything off of it. So it's a little bit smaller than I wanted it to be, but I got most of the plastic wrap off and finally got that ball out. What do you think will happen when we pour our vinegar onto our frozen baking soda and water volcano? Only one way to find out. Here's a couple things I learned while I did this experiment, which I've never done before. Number one, my plastic wrap, I was not careful enough. Lots of the liquid got in the plastic wrap, so it froze into the layers, which made it very hard to unwrap. And I don't think my container was big enough or my ball was too big because there was a hole in the bottom of my volcano. So when I poured my liquid in, a lot of it went out the bottom, so I didn't get that nice whoosh I was looking for. Every time you do an experiment or art, you need to leave a lot of room for things to go not exactly as you planned. And I want you to know that even though I'm Kylie makes it, Kylie doesn't always make it right. A huge part of what makes a good scientist and a good artist is that we let ourselves make mistakes. And you know what? This wasn't even a mistake because we learned from it. And it's still really beautiful, isn't it? Did we enjoy our time together? Yep. 
Did we have fun making this? Yup. Did it work exactly how we had it in our mind? Nope. Is that okay? It sure is. If you want to watch more Dr. Bill and Kylie videos or more Kylie videos where we make stuff together, just search for Kylie Makes It. K-Y-L-E-E, -E, that's me. I'll see you next time.